Here we go. Just old school now. Get ready. Put your hand together. I want you to take the men to the stream. And I'm going to speak to you. And I'm going to let you know who stays and who goes. For the one that I say will stay, will stay. And the one that I say will not go, will not go. So Gideon is under some type of pressure and a real test. And Gideon is saying to yourself, himself, I really have to stay in this posture and place of prayer because I need to know who's staying and who's going. Amen. Anybody understand what I'm saying tonight? We got to get in the posture of prayer because we don't know like we should know for ourselves. That's why we are leading and depending on the arms and the voice of God. Because I need to know in this season, God, I need you to speak to me and tell me what's staying and what's going. I need you to speak to me in this season and let me know what to hold on to and what to let go of. Come on. Because sometimes we're trying to make stuff work for us that's really not supposed to work for us. It's not meant to work for us, but we haven't let it go yet. And that's the only reason why we still have it. So God is speaking to Gideon, and he says, now divide them. Separate the ones who got on their face and lapped up the water with their tongues like a dog. Because it's the unlikely crew <laughs> that the enemy thinks is not going to be used for the victory. It's the ones that everybody is sitting back in church turning their face up at. Come on. The one that don't get speak to on Sunday. Come on. We come to church and we don't even speak to that person. But yet, we get in a season and we fall off. And now that's the person God is raising up. Uh -huh. It's the very one that you promised things to and turned your back on. It's the very one, come on, that we overlooked. And that, that even sometimes the pastor is guilty of not feeling like that person is qualified come in that on. area or come qualified on. in that anointing. Come on. If the truth be told, it's the people that we're looking at and we're saying are not qualified that God is saying, that's the one I want to use. That's the one that I want to resurrect. That's the one I want to bring to the forefront. That's the one that I want the oil to pour on. And that's the one that I want to use in the vineyard in this season. Yes. The one that laps up the water. But the one that got down there and got real prissy about it. And they knelt down. And they cupped their hands. And drunk out of their hands, God said, separate them. Send them back. Them people that come in here acting prissy. Them not the one I want to use. The people that come in here acting too deep. Come on. Too deep to stand there and aid you at the altar praying for people. You got to watch for those ones. Amen. The people that's standing there that's too deep to hand you the oil while you're praying for somebody. You got to watch the person that's too deep that's not able to serve and to submit to pastor and don't even want to carry a bag. Come on. Don't even want to type up a letter. Come on. Don't even want to do what they're supposed to do. Watch the ones that come in here acting prissy. Come on. Anybody with me tonight and know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Watch the ones that are so bougie. Come on. That they can't get their hands dirty doing the work of God. But God is saying, I want the ones that will lap up water like a dog. I want the ones that don't mind getting dirty. Come on. That don't mind being in a low place. Come on. That don't mind being down there doing the work that they need to do to get the job done. That's the one I want to use. You got too much going on with you. So now is the time for cutting away. And now I, I'm, I'm raising up a people and I'm raising up those that are going to serve and do it without accolades, do it without regards, do it without the paycheck, and do it without the image, and do it without all the whiff all that people say that you're supposed to have. That's the one I want to use in this hour. So, after God was finished with Gideon, he already had 2,200 that walked away, and another 10,000 that walked away. Now Gideon is left with 300 Men, and why did God narrow down the grouping to just 300 mere men? Because what God was saying to Gideon is that I don't want these Israelite soldiers to take credit 
for what I'm getting ready to do. Come on. You want to know why some people are not in your life in this season? Because God don't want them to have the credit. Amen. For what he's getting ready to do. That the victory that he's getting ready to bring in your life, he doesn't want anybody to be able to steal his glory. Come on. The word clearly tells us that he will not share his glory with another man. Come on. Amen. So we have to give God praise and give God glory for the people that he allowed to walk out of our life in this season. Why? Because they would have been the one saying that if it wasn't for me, then you wouldn't have this church Amen. like you have it. If it wasn't for me, then you wouldn't be driving the car that you're driving. If it wasn't for me, then you wouldn't have the money that you have. If it wasn't for me, then you wouldn't be living in the house that you live in. If it wasn't for me, then you wouldn't be wearing the clothes that you wear. But let's just give God some praise for the people that walked out. Let's just give God some praise for the people that he cut off. Let's give God some praise for the people that he pulled out of.